Uh, so at the end of April, I rolled into Newman on a plane from Ballarat in Victoria. Um, I'd never been to Newman and I hopped off the plane and I instantly felt at home. Uh, growing up, I lived in some communities called Yalgu, Murchison and Mika. And there's just something about the red dirt, it just gets under your skin and you just love it. Um, and then I realised I had no idea what I was supposed to do. Um, nothing being communicated to me. I ran into a nurse who worked for the same company as what I was now working for. And he helped me check into a hotel and the next day drove me out to Dugong. It was all a bit overwhelming as um, none of this was um, told to me and I had no idea what to expect at all. Um, and yeah, I got really no orientation to the job. We were short staffed that week. But uh, the first week I had my first RFDS fly out. So that's with um, Royal Flying Doctor Service. The plane comes out and lands on an airstrip, then you have to um, go up and down the airstrip and clear it for the plane before they come. And first call out to the clinic. Um, during this video you can see I got slightly obsessed with the wild horses and also the sunsets. So just waiting for my first RFDS flight to come in. Should be coming in somewhere over that way. And um, then we'll fly a little bubber out and see what happens. So planes coming in from over here somewhere. This is our generator that lights up the airstrip. And that thing over there tells you what way the wind's going. And as you can see it looks pretty gross out there, nice and stormy. So I've just finished my first call out to the community at night, um, wasn't too serious, just um, a bit of vomiting but they'll call me back if it gets worse. So now I've just got to walk home and I thought I'd share the walk with you, it's not really that far. Come to the door and you've got to unlock this. straight ahead. These horses out here are full graphics. They just I'm not a very good predator. Anyway. <clears throat> and straight up here. Desert place. 